live in this building? This yes, place? this is Calaroga Terrace. Yeah, you've lived here a few few, few years. Well, almost six years. Six. Yeah, uh, you six. saw the painting before. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, it's yeah. Very nice. And I can see it from my balcony, actually. So it's oh. fun to watch it. I can walk out and see it from my balcony. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What did you like about having the painting here? Oh, it's colorful and it's attractive. Yeah. Very yeah, it's attractive. a unique design, and one of our residents gave a name to the design, and I don't remember what the name is, <laughs> but, you know, the residents yeah. have been involved with it. The Lloyd um, Center, the Lloyd District, asked us to donate a name, and one of our people did get the prize, I guess. The prize for the name, right. Yeah. It's very attractive. I like, I love color. So what are, what are you working on there? I'm um, just with uh, Lloyd Eco District. I'm the grants and uh, outreach manager for them. So just painting this mural, getting people to come together and make the neighborhood a little beautiful, a little more beautiful. But yeah, just trying to add uh, some color to kind of an otherwise, you know, corporate landscape and large buildings, so how do we make it feel a little bit more like the rest of Portland and have unique characters specific to Lloyd, so just getting people to come out to the community, looking forward to having everyone kind of meet each other and take part in something to build community. Definitely one of our goals, the Lloyd Eco District believes in uh, community uh, resilience, equity, and um, climate change issues, so this kind of helps build community resilience by having people know their neighbors, know other people that are living in the area or work in the area, so how can we kind of work together to make something a little more beautiful here? Um, so that's kind of one of our big goals of getting everyone together, come out and redo this space. And when I first started here, I saw the painting, the picture of it from two years ago, and it looked really amazing, and I saw it and it was kind of faded, so I've been really excited to work on redoing this mural. How did you end up uh, working for Eco Lloyd? Um, it was through a job posting on a environmental professionals of color board that I saw. Um, so I saw the position and was interested in kind of the work they did. I looked up their site and saw what we do here and the community building aspect of it as well as place making and things like this, like this is a unique uh, thing to the Lloyd neighborhood. I really liked a lot of the different projects that we worked on, so that really appealed to me and uh, I've been really enjoying it since starting in January. My first experience when I was a tourist uh, here in the Lloyd was going to Lloyd Center Mall and I noticed all the pollinator, the planters that they had to protect the bikeway and I saw it said uh, pollinator corridor along um, the double tree and that to me was what the Lloyd was I just always associated it with that and that was a pro I didn't know two or three years ago that that was a project that Lloyd Eco District had, had done so um, to me just being able to stand out in a place that most people might others consider oh it's just all corporate or commercial buildings and it's just um, the mall uh, to kind of, I guess, debunk that myth and let people know hey, people live here, people care about how it looks and feeling like it's a part of uh, like a real community, I think is a really great part for me to take part in. And I had uh, some interest in urban planning as well, so it kind of gives me a little bit of everything that I have uh, interest in, which is really cool. So just seeing the work that we do and uh, the community coming out and really being engaged and everything has been great. So a lot of community support for the projects and I really love, love being a part of that. We recently uh, did a cleanup project and we're going to be doing another one here shortly on, uh, it's kind of related to the pollinator corridor but it's more of like a, a peace memorial garden. It's over on uh, the Esplanade near the Steel Bridge on Lloyd in Oregon. Um, we did a cleanup of that park and tried to redefine the peace symbol that was there. Uh, and we're going to be doing another one in August, on August 10th, another cleanup effort. And uh, eventually we'd like to kind of redesign that with the community, um, a community informed design and having just more information on um, 
what would they like to see there that are like native, low, uh, low maintenance, low water use, uh, drought tolerant, um, native perennials that attract pollinator species. So we're going to be doing that and we're trying to work on how do we inform the rest of the landscape here in Loy that is uh, going to be more like pollinator focused or at least allows, you know, uh, attracts those species here to kind of help with the food ecosystem and things like that because we know that uh, pollinator species are important to our, for our food um, and as urban spaces grow a lot of times we encroach on their natural habitats so how do we bring those back and have it be a place where they're thriving and humans are thriving as well so that's like a really big project that we're still working on. Um, but a lot of the other stuff we do is kind of like uh, getting together with businesses for uh, data and things like that, data sharing for energy efficiency use. Um, I'm part of a program called LAMP where we try and do LED retrofits for commercial buildings and things like that to help them lower their energy use, but also uh, Lloyd Eco District gets a percentage as well as um, Central City Concerns, so we uh, support affordable housing as well through that project. So quite a few different things, um, some more visible than others, but a lot of it's just, you know, building community and then how do we get more projects like these where everyone can come out together and get to know their neighbors? So you live right up here? You live right up, uh, straight up on the corner, right? Good morning. And uh, uh, how long have you lived here? Six years? At least. Uh, and uh, You were saying you liked looking down and seeing the painting here. Fifteen stories up. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. good, view. good view. Good <laughs> view. Good, um, good view, a good place. Uh, it. Uh, what, what's the reason for the uh, project, just for? Uh, it's uh, called community building or place making. Place making. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of gives you a sense of place, like you belong here. Not just the cars driving by, but that the people belong here. And uh, part of the Lloyd district, I see. Eco Lloyd. Yeah. Yeah. Eco Lloyd. <laughs> And uh, uh, I work over at uh, Bonneville Power Administration by, in the Lloyd District. Oh, well. okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it different colors than last time? It is. Can you tell already? Yeah, a little bit. I've already forgotten what the old one was, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. Me too. I, maybe it was more turquoise or something? Yeah. And it, it, it's kind of water-based then? It, it, uh, Fades into the environment. I took a picture. Yeah, of I think I think it is. It's a street type paint. So, uh, well, yeah, uh, it's a beautiful day for uh, uh, making a mural. For painting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Enjoy your party you're going to. All right, let's go this way. You having fun painting today? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, watch where you're steering. <laughs> Keep it in the white. Yeah. Beta, look it. There's way more spots down here for the green. Should we move our tray a little bit? Uh, how did you find out about this project? Um, I actually um, serve on the board of the Eco District, so which is the nonprofit that's kind of sponsoring this project. So um, I came last year, and this is my second year doing it. And he's my boss, so <laughs> when events like this come up, he lets us know, and we can volunteer if we would like. And I thought this one would be fun, so this is my first year doing it. It's a positive. Uh, influence on the community, something for people to rally around. Um, it, you know, getting people out in the streets is important. I think that it helps a, a, another organization later in the day some kids come out and participate in it. So I think it's a good good thing for the Lloyd District. You like doing art projects? Yeah. Yeah, painting especially? Yep. Nice and messy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is this your first time doing this? This is my first time painting the mural. I'm Diana Foss. I'm the manager, operations manager for Lady Good District, and so I've been on this job for about six months.
what's the um, purpose of this project? So the intersection mural is to beautify an area that can be kind of sterile and commercial with a lot of big buildings and a lot of concrete. But it's the main purpose is to bring together members of the community to create something that everybody can enjoy and to, uh, to create a focal point in this neighborhood. Cool, thank you. Oh, how beautiful. What? having so this So you here. were here a couple years ago when they did it before? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, what did you like about it before? It was so colorful and bright and it generated a lot of conversation. Oh. Yes. See the guys who painted this. So community in general like it, huh? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody talked about it. And there were a lot of school people, little younger kids here last year, it seems as though. Ah, oh, the foster kids. I think they're coming later today. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, it was fun to have those. Yeah, we always enjoy ones. seeing the children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of the things that is so positive is that it generates conversation among people. You know, they're wondering, what is it? Look at the colors. It's brightening up this, the whole area here. Everybody wants to know, what is it? Even people that don't live in this area, they want to know, what the heck is that you guys are doing there on the corner? So yeah, it's great. We love it. We claim it. It's ours. <laughs> it's wonderful. Beautiful. So it gets people out on the street. To yes, it people. does. Mm -hmm. How long have you lived here? Three years. Three years? Mm -hmm. um, in the neighborhood or like in the building? Here? Well, in the building, I've lived here three years. But in the neighborhood, I've lived here since 1954. Wow. Mm -hmm. Have there been a lot of like murals on buildings or streets since you lived in the neighborhood? Not a lot, but there have been some. 